Okay, so we've got some granulated zinc here, and we're going to look at the uh, reaction of the zinc with sulfuric acid, uh, dilute sulfuric acid, in fact, which I have here. Uh, it's a concentration of one mole per decimeter cubed. So in the first test tube, I'm just going to add uh, five centimeters cubed of uh, dilute sulfuric acid and observe any changes. Okay, so we can't see a whole lot going on straight away. Um, the zinc surface has got a, a nice white colouring to it now, um, much shinier than it was before, um, but no big changes there at all. Okay, so to the next one, we're going to add uh, a few copper turnings, and hopefully um, the copper here should act as a catalyst and speed up any reaction taking place. So I'm just going to tip a few uh, copper turnings into the second test tube. Okay. Just make sure that the uh, zinc and copper are in contact with each other. I think we've achieved that. And then add uh, approximately five centimeters cubed of dilute sulfuric acid to this one as well. Okay, there we go. And pour that in. Okay, so a little bit more added this time. And straight away, you can see a lot more active. Definitely bubbles. Uh, forming there, and we can see them moving up the tube. Um, piece of copper floating up and down there. Um, so, considerably faster. Definite reaction taking place there, and in the first one, there's still just a few bubbles forming on the surface that perhaps you can just make out. And for the last one, what we're going to do um, is just uh, another five centimeters cubed of sulfuric acid, okay, so just like tube one initially. And then we're also going to add a um, small amount, just one centimetre cubed of copper sulfate solution. Okay, there we go. So this one we'll need to give a little mix, so you can see just as the uh, copper sulfate's reaching the bottom there, um, blackening of the surface of the zinc, bubbling, quite considerable bubbling, okay, I'll just Remove this, give it a little bit of agitation just to mix that up more fully and much more reaction going on there, much faster reaction taking place. Okay, let's see if we can get a nice close up of the reactions occurring here. Okay, so with the copper acting as a catalyst, far quicker reaction than without the copper. So if I just shift that first tube to the middle so we can see the side-by-side -side comparison um, with and without a catalyst, each side there, hopefully we can see rate of reaction greatly increased with that copper catalyst. 